what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel today i just thought of taking you on adventure taking you out away from the lessons and everything i thought of taking you to the some of the heritage areas that we have in zambia right now i'm in dagama shots there is a, an area there, there's an area in ndola called dagama shot just a kilometer away from the, uh, our national, our international airport, and about four kilometers away from Ndolaki to carriageway. Okay, here this is where the UN Secretary General, the second UN Secretary General, died from. This area is a national heritage because it carries history, not only about Zambia but about Sweden and the world at large. Thank you. So I'm going to show you around this area. At this point where you are seeing right now, this is the place exactly where the plane crashed. And this is the monument itself. If you can see around here, there are different people that have visited this area and the stones they have laid after coming here. In front of the monument, there are a list of people who were in the plane that crashed. These are the list of people that were in the plane that crashed. So as you can see, there were about 16 of them in the plane. Okay, so these all these stones that are around this monument are the people that have visited to honor Mr. Dagamashot. Dagamashot need to be celebrated because this is a man of peace. He came all the way from Sweden to come and bring peace among Africans. That was the time when our country was trying to get, uh, was going to get independence from the colonial state government. So that is about this area. Enjoy. I'm going to be taking to the man who is in charge of this place, Mr. Gilbert, who is going to give us more details, the history of, about this heritage site. Please enjoy the video. Yeah. This is the actual site here. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Your destination mm -hmm. is on the right. Uh -huh. And you're going to the grass and flower. This mm -hmm. is the actual site. Wow. Where the plane which carried that commercial, mm -hmm. the UN Secretary General, yeah. and 15 others mm -hmm. crashed here. Mm -hmm. Now, this plane crashed just after midnight, 0010 a.m. of that Sunday. Uh -huh. That's why they have written 18th, because 0010 a.m. That's when this DC-6B plane crashed here. Mm -hmm. It was coming, of course, from Leopold Vera. Okay. Leopold Vere, which is now Kinshasa in the DRC, mm -hmm. where Doug Amashod had come on 13 September, Wednesday, to come and mediate between the warring parties in the Congo, the two parties. Oh. Uh, Moise Shombe, who was based at Katanga province, the leader of Katanga by then, mm -hmm. and the government of Congo. Okay. So he wanted to come and mediate to bring peace mm. as his objective. Okay. Wednesday he landed. The following day on a Thursday, he held a, a consultation meeting. Mm. Prior to the main meeting, where ministers were there, President Kasabubu was there. That is where Dagama Shod was actually uh, advised to call Moise Shombe from Katanga to say, let Moise be here. Uh -huh. He's the one who has recruited a lot of you know, villagers with guns. Mm. Let him be here. Perhaps mm. there will be peace in our country. Okay. And so now Dagama Shod did so using these land points. Okay. Now when he did so, Unfortunately, Moise Shombe refused. He said, no, 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 no. White man, you seem to be clever, Dagamashu. Maybe you have laid ambush with some soldiers. Somewhere. Oh, oh. You want to capture us and kill us later. No, mm. no, 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 you can't come to your place. Perhaps come to our place. Oh. Ah, you are fearing to be killed at yes. It's okay. Even in me, Dagamashu, I'm flesh and blood. Mm. I'm fearing to be killed as well. I can't come to your place there. Uh -huh. Maybe. Choose a neutral place. Oh, a neutral then place. Then I will join you. Okay. Thereafter, Moise Shombe and his people chose their neutral place within Congo, the town of Kifushi. Yes, you remember it. So now, where Dagamashod was, he was also advised to say, Dagamashod, with such a caliber, do you know where Kifushi is? It's just in the bush, a small town. In fact, around that small town, there are a lot of rebels. Later on, you'll be implicated. You'll be, you'll be misunderstood, sir. And later mm. you find yourself in prisons. So don't go there, refuse as well. He again refused. Then they said, 
Mena Moezi Shombe said, oh, oh, Dagama Shod, you seem to be very difficult. Then they throw that boy into his hands to say, Dagama Shod, choose where we can meet, not where you are. So now Dagama Shod cons consulted, then he was given the whole map of Central Africa, which incorporated the Federation, Northern Rhodesia, Southern Rhodesia, and Nyasaland. That is where now he had time now to choose where to meet as a new place. Mm. And so he chose one town, one town within Northern Rhodesia, the city mm. of Lusaka. Mm. He chose it and mentioned it to Moise Shombe. Okay. Moise Shombe, upon hearing that town, he said, no, 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 Lusaka is very far from our place. If something go wrong there, we can't get back to you. Mm. Ah, ah. The Gama Shod said, oh, oh, you have refused that, yes. Okay, fine, he reconsulted. That's when he was shown in Dollar to say, Ndola is just adjacent to Katanga province oh, where they I are. See. Choose in Ndola. He mentioned in Ndola to, to them. Then they clapped. They said, good. Ndola is just near our, our mm -hmm. homes. That meeting was settled on a Thursday. On Friday, they rested. In the afternoon like this time, Diagama showed started over journey, went to President Kasavubu's home to visit. And they arranged to say, okay, fine, he had to bid farewell. To say, let's meet him in dollar. Perhaps there will be peace in your country. In fact, in the origin, because what is on my agenda is very sweet for you Africans. Yeah. Yes. He went back to his hotel. On a Saturday, they rested. Sunday, early in the morning, as the sun arose, yes. he was geared to fly from there to Ndola. From Kinshasa? From, from Kinshasa to Ndola. Okay. Now, he had problems. He had to rethink. He asked them, how do we fly? I told he's flying over Katanga. Then you go to Ndola. Uh -uh -uh. Give Katanga. me time. <laughs> Give me time. Flying over Katanga. <laughs> flying over the people are grieved. Yeah. How? <laughs> they shall harm us. Let's give me time so that I plan properly on how to fly into Ndola safely. Okay. So they gave him time in a secluded place. He started planning. This time around, he was planning that journey. Since morning, up to around 17.50-51 p.m., Mm -hmm. That's when he finalized that planning. And so he said, have you seen? It has taken me the whole day. Mm. So now, allow me to choose, uh, first to tell you that this journey to Ndola will be a secret journey. Mm. Secondly, it will be under radio silence. Then thirdly, I'm going to choose five of those among those I came with, especially those who were born in Sweden. Because mm. I, the I'm coming from Sweden. Oh. For security reasons. While it's flying, I may like to speak in idioms or proverbs. Those people will be able to understand. Oh. So I'm going to choose them as a crew to fly us to Ndola. So he chose five Swedes. They started off now that secret journey. Instead of flying over Katanga, he chose to go into East Africa, Rwanda, Brunei, hey. Tanzania. They flew over Lake Tanganyika. Ooh. They, yes. were... they came to enter into the Federation near oh. the town of Umbala. Mm -hmm. They crossed the borders into the Federation. Immediately they crossed the borders. They had to switch on the radios on that plane, which was flying over uh, under radio silence. Mm -hmm. Immediately they did so. Yeah. That plane now was noticed by the Soviet Information Center, the yeah, capital yeah. of the Federation is Baba. Mm -hmm. Those are the people who observed how that plane was flying. The mm -hmm. route. Yeah. Yes. And so they established one thing, that is, it was flying into Copper Belt of Northern Rhodesia. And so no, during that period, 1957-1961, the our copper here was building the fortified cities in that country. Mm. Yes, in Zimbabwe. So now they said, eh, eh, they are going where they where we retrieve our raw materials. Let's call the dollar people. We start talking to those people. Who are they? They alerted them. Then they started now talking. Who are you? They explained to themselves. We are carrying Dagama Shod, UN Secretary General. He has chosen in dollar to come and chair a meeting between the warring parties in the Congo. Hey, hey, hey. Repeat at Dagama Shod, hey, hey. that's a bigger boss. Let him come. Mm. Who are we to refuse? Mm. So they gave him permission to land from that direction. Now, because the position of our runway there goes to the northern direction, mm. it failed that plane to land. Mm. Said, uh -uh, we shall crash land. Let's go and turn in in dollar west so that we can be aligned to the airport runway. Oh, oh I see. Mm. Of which they did that when side. Around. They flew over this bush. Uh -huh. They flew and they went to the airport. When they reached that place now for the second time, it was a different story. The whole airport was now found in darkness. 
Maybe it was road shedding. Who knows? Ah. Maybe it was deliberate punishment. They felt oh, it was because they jamming. couldn't see it was there. Yeah. darkness now, sir. All the lights were off. Oh my God. What has happened? This is a boy, uh, small problem. Maybe a big problem. We don't know. Let's do another turn. They did another turn. They flew over this same bush. Mm. They went to the airport. They yeah. reached there. It was the same situation. Mm. Which now caused Dark Amashod where he had sat there to start off. Coming to the crew to prove them to say, let's what go back is to happening? Kongo. What is happening down there? Let's go back. They said, no, 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 boss, no. we have been flying for too long. Mm-hmm. Sir, we can't manage to go back. He insisted. They refused. He insisted. They refused. Until an argument arose between Dark Amashod and the crew over the mm. same issue. Mm. Mm. During that argument, that plane was still flying. No. Until that side, they convinced him to say, let's just do another turn, sir. These people switch on the plane, the, the lights. They were turning along the third turn. Mm-hmm. Now you can see that building over there with the glass on top. Yeah. Behind it, some 200 to 250 meters behind, mm-hmm. where there is now a new airport. Yes. Okay. In the air, yes. something happened on, on that plane now, mm-hmm. which was even noticed by the people in Dollar Town and those other compounds. Oh, sure. A deep red flash of light. Mm. seen on that plane. Mm. It started dropping down up to the height of the trees. Mm. It didn't touch the ground. It started coming here, clipping the trees mm. up to that building exactly. Yes. It found a nine feet until yeah. where the left wing of uh-huh. that DC 6B yeah. had to cut wheel mm. and found itself here, crushing yeah. the thick forest of Fundala West yeah. with 16 people on board. Yeah. The gamma showed inclusive yeah. with only one lady on that plane, mm. the UN, uh, Alice Lalande, the UN typist, mm-hmm. was on this plane. Then then it started burning the bodies of people here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. The four engines it had were in disarray at this place, they were smoking, you know. Now those people saw a different flash of light in the air. They were civilians like us. Mm-hmm. What could they do? They just went into their homes to sleep. Yeah. It is night. Time. It's to hide, yeah. Policemen and soldiers were strong enough. They went to the airport after midnight to go and report the incident. They did so. Now those people at the airport, after taking the the, in, the, the report, they took their own time until in the morning of Monday, 18. That's when when they saw these people were reporting for work. They could now assign people to say, you, you are going for a search. Also you, going for a search. Around 9, 10 hours. That's when they came with their jeeps and Land Rovers here yeah. in search of the 16 bodies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they arrived here, it was a different story again. Yeah. They only identified 14 bodies. Two were missing. Ooh. That of the Kamashot and another gentleman, the UN body, mm-hmm. Sergeant Harold M. Jordan, was missing mm-hmm. from here. Ah. And so the, the other group went into the outskirts of this place the in search bushes. of the two bodies. Mm-hmm. The other group went down there. Now, this group who, who came the year by they reach where you have packed your vehicle there. Have you have seen a stone somewhere there? Yes. By the anteo there. Mm-hmm. At the foot of that anteo, that's where now they found the body of Dark Hamsha. Mm-hmm. In the kneeling position, yeah. grabbing the grass in his hand, like someone was struggling earlier. Oh. Amazingly, amazingly. So he must have survived. Imagine. Amazingly. Yeah. And maybe they took him, say, come here now. Amazingly, this mm-hmm. man didn't have any burn, not even a percentage. Mm. And he had died with mm. a card, I mean a card, plucked by the left side of his neck, mm. a pack of skulls, and he had died. Mm. So they were terrified, in fact, to say maybe there are some people who are hiding somewhere. Mm. How can this man die this way? Well, those are bad returns. Mm. Mm-hmm. Then later they looked to the southern direction, some 30 to 40 meters from that spot. They saw some fire burning there, where it was summer. They rushed there, that's where they found the body of Sergeant Harold M. Julian, his body. the American one. Mm-hmm. He was lying prostrate in the grass, his clothes were burning. So they removed that fire from those clothes, that one. Then they started examining that body thoroughly until they established one thing his pulses were punctured. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. which entails that that man survived the crash. Mm-hmm. They lifted his body, had to put him on the, on the Land Rover and rushed him to Dollar Hospital. Where I was put now uh, on a drip. Yes, yes. So later they started now observing that body from time to time. Until now, they saw his eyes open. Mm. Yes, Ooh. and he could even uh, speak. Yes, wow. one inspector from Northern Rhodesian Police, mm. Inspector Allen, 
came to conduct an interview to say Mr. Julian tell us. Yes, what happened what on happened? that plane? Tell us. That man was confused a bit because of the accident. Mm -hmm. He could talk about his wife and children. Mm -hmm. Later on, he normalized. He told the story. Until he narrated, he narrated up to that How point about the around, argument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he said, after that argument, I heard a bang. Oh, the plane yeah. accelerated. Thereafter, we crashed. We crashed. And so they said, what about that bang? What bang you mentioned in the first place? Maybe that plane was shot in the air. Mm -hmm. They said, you are thinking. Let's take down. Another man said, hmm, that bang. Me, I'm thinking that uh, there was a bomb on that plane, which was put there at Kinshasa secretly. Mm -hmm. Then as it was approaching this airport, it was detonated by radio command by those people. Correct. There. Let's take down. Mm -hmm. You are thinking. The, another person said, the gamma shot cannot die that way without mm -hmm. any burn. That's a taboo. How can he die that way while others were badly we charged? Are, we are bad Some beyond recognition. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Him came out Me, clean. I'm thinking, maybe there was a 17th passenger on that plane uh -huh. who hijacked it. Maybe he's the one who dragged the gamma shot there and left him in that state. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so, which means he ran away in the early morning of Monday. Mm -hmm. In this case, they started blaming themselves for not coming early. Okay. All those assumptions yeah, are written there. Yeah, they didn't move in the night. All those assumptions are there. Okay. That man was picked there in Indola Hospital. He spent 10 days from 18th September, Monday, up to 20th September. He passed on. Okay. Uh, died. Okay. Because of the wounds. Yeah. That man. Okay. Yes. The Gamashot body was picked from there, well prepared, taken to into the tip of Indola town, opposite the main police station. There's the church of UCZ. Yes, St. Andrews. Scotland. Yes. That's where he was placed there. He lied in state. Okay. Mm. Up to 26 September. That was the 18th. 26. They picked his casket. Even those from Dollar Mortuary were well prepared. Repacked in a nice, precious plant. Okay. Front to the capital city, Salisbury. Okay. There they had a ceremony. The in Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah. When they reached there, well, well, they were welcome. That is where now they thought of dividing the coffins to their respective countries for funerals. Oh, sure. The Gamma Shod was flown to his country, Sweden, Stockholm, capital city, okay. where now, 20th September, they managed to hold a big funeral for that, mm. to hear his wakes mm -hmm. at the UN, where a multitude gathered. Sure. Estimated 100,000 gathered in Stockholm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Finally, 29 September, early in the morning, he was taken to his hometown, the university town of Uppsala, into the cathedral of Uppsala, mm. where prayers were conducted early in the morning. In the afternoon, like at 14, 15 hours, they flocked to the family graveyard to put him to rest. 29 September, 1941. That's the story about a man of hope, Dagam. When he died here, it wow, was a dark awesome cloud for the whole region. Mm. Because the indigenous Africans, we are awaiting him to hear his words, specifically at Savoy Hotel, yeah. so that they could hear what he was advising them. Mm -hmm. Now they were just told, uh, uh, your saviors just died in the forest of Ndola West. Yeah. We don't know if you are going to gain your independence. You think you are going to, mm -hmm. to, to win. Yeah. Nothing. You continue buying through the windows. Imagine how okay. they felt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was bad. It was this man was working bad. according to the rule of law. Yeah. Uh -huh. He wanted to come and teach the Africans the meaning of elections, mm. how to be decolonized in a peaceful way, mm. the meaning of de democracy, dark Hamasha. Mm. And so he died here at mm. the age of 56. Yeah. And he, he didn't was young. marry in life. He didn't marry in life. Mm. He was yeah. saying, after I finish the second term, that I'm going to marry and live marry. in the suburb of my country, Sweden. Okay. Yes. Wow. That's why the Australians, mm -hmm. these are the Australians, who said a man who believed that service to humanity is the best work of life? They are describing Dark Hammershot. Okay. Working for humanity is the best work of life. The wow. Australians are describing Dark Hammershot. Okay. Who came here? Mm -hmm. The specialized agencies of the United Nations were here, 2001. Joseph Kavila, yes, former president of Congo, Joseph was, here. was here. This is this stone here. Wow. That, that I've seen there. Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan with was with here. this one. He came here. They brought from Kofi here. Kofi Annan came here. Then he, look, wow. FTJ Chiluba. 
They came from Lusaka. They held these meetings. They were changing from AU okay. to African Union. Dr. Salim Ahmed Salim, the OAU Secretary General, Secretary I can't find General. them on the same date, 7 Juliet. Well, you yeah, see? Man, yes, yes. Yeah. They were coming mm -hmm. from Lusaka. Yeah. From nice. Yes, FTJ. Oh, yeah. The group yeah. from, Swe yeah. from Sweden. Even the Secretary General from Tanzania. Okay. I can't find them here. Oh, nice. uh -huh. So they came to say the man of peace. Let's see, honor him here. Wow. Uh -huh. People need to know that we came here. Okay. Heritage site, yes. Who killed him? Wow. Nice. When this man had a lot of enemies. Nice. Yes. <laughs> oh, it would just say yeah. he, you go and see. And, and, you see now, and see. all these words. The only value of life. When he was alive like us, uh -huh. he had a diary. Oh, yeah. That's why he could write, write his opinions. Oh, yeah. Faith opinions, uh, political opinions, he could write. It was oh, yeah. full of quotes. Okay. Now, in 1964, after he had died, uh -huh. They retrieved this uh Yay, the freedom fight. <laughs> okay. Memorable moments here. Okay. Memorable moments here. Okay. Mainza M. Chona was here to lay a foundation stone. Wow. Yes. So now you can present open this one officially oh. as a museum. Oh. Dr. Kenneth David, David Kaunda. He opened it. Wow, nice. Mm. Very nice. Maintained by National Heritage. So they did not allow us to take pictures or photos or videos inside uh, the exhibition or inside okay. the Okay, no photos here. here. Oh, oh okay. okay. No. Now I'm taking you to the exact area where they found the body of the gamma shot. So this is the area. Okay. So this stone uh, reads this plaque was unveiled by Mr. Kofi Annan, Secretary General of the United Nations to mark the 40th anniversary of the death of United Nations Secretary General Doug Amashod, whose body was found at this spot following the plane crash. Hey, hey, hi guys, hi guys. So this is the tour that we had, I had for you. And um, with me, this journey has been possible because of this friend of mine. What's up, guys? Travertainment. Subscribe to his channel. Don't Travel forget to men. subscribe to these channels, guys. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, brother. Thank you. Actually, you see this ant hill here. This ant hill is about um, 12 to... Uh, it could be 20, 12 to 30 meters yeah. long. So this ant hill, it's actually a monument on its own because behind, like I was, I'm from showing you, that's where that stone is laid, where the gamma shoot was found after a plane crash. So, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos. Stay tuned and please don't forget to hit a notification bell so that you keep on getting notified whenever I upload a new video. Yep, yep. Thank you. Let's keep on learning computer. We are in the world of technology. Thank you.